How's it going guys, it's Root Junkie here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about my Android Wear device right here. This is my Moto 360. Absolutely love this device, I wear it every day. Favorite Android Wear device, hands down. We're gonna be talking about the new features that have come with it now that we finally have the update for Android Wear 5.1.1, and there's some great new functionality that I'm excited to show up, so let's go check this out. Let's check out some of these features here on my Moto 360. So there are some new things here with Android Wear 5.1.1, and let me just show them to you. So first of all, if you swipe down from the top, you can see your notifications here have changed a little bit, your settings for priority mode, uh, no notifications, and so on. You can scroll over here to theater mode, brightness boost, and get directly into settings. So let me just show you that. In here, there are a couple new things that are kind of cool, but I just want to show you in about the Android version really quickly. Uh, right here, you can just go ahead and touch to view, and there it is. There's your Android uh, OS, Android Wear. So, very cool. I'm definitely really liking this. This does bring some new functionality, and let me just show you that. Besides your settings there, you can also now swipe from the side and that goes ahead and brings up your applications which you can scroll through and it does keep about the I think it's the three most recent applications that you use right on the top and then it goes into an alphabetical order from there on out now there is this feature which is really awesome and it's called find my phone and it's built in this is a new application and I'll show you an example of it shortly uh, also, you have the flashlight application, which you just turn on and just brings the screen really bright. And you see, you just turn it on and off, which which is cool. I dig it. Now, if you scroll over again, you can go right to people, and these are like your most recent contacts. This is my brother right here, and um, just yeah, pretty sweet. If you scroll up one more time, it does go back over here to the Speak Now functionality, which it, you can see it is recording me. I'm going to swipe back away and then swipe back. Then you can also go down to all of these suggested commands. So there's basically three different uh, kind of interfaces here that you can play through just by swiping over. And I like this functionality better than the tapping it, which you still have to get to it, but um, I just like swiping from the side. It kind of reminds me of some of the launchers that you've seen for Android Wear and now that functionality is included. So much needed improvement. Besides that, let's go ahead and um, scroll down here again, shoot over into our settings, and let me just show you some other features that are in here. So you have shortcuts to, you know, to watch faces, um, font size if you want to change that, gesture on. This is a really important feature, and I've turned it on, and let me go ahead and show you an example of how that works. So the way gesture on works, if I can do it, is you flick your wrist, and it'll bring up your next notification. Now, I don't only have one on here right now, so it doesn't do it. Or you can flick it the other way, and it'll bring it down. Flick it the other way, and it'll bring it off. Or flick it up. It brings it up. And you can see what it's doing. Basically, you can scroll through your notifications by flicking your wrist. This is an awesome feature and really handy if you don't have another hand to reach over and, you know, start tapping on your your phone and scrolling through your notifications. I love it. So besides that, you can see there is a Wi-Fi function right here, which is a huge improvement and actually is how it uses Find My Android, the application I showed you easier earlier, because if you're not connected with Bluetooth, you can use it through Wi-Fi. So that's really awesome. Um, the rest of this is kind of standard stuff on here, nothing really new and exciting. But if you want to go ahead and connect to this, you just go ahead and click on the uh, Wi-Fi. It's going to go ahead and look for a Wi-Fi network. And you can scroll through some different settings there, advanced. Um, let's go ahead to Wi-Fi automatic. And this goes ahead, oh, let me go back. So here's some networks, it gives you a list of networks and then you can kind of scroll through, pick the network you want. So I'm gonna say Root Junkie, and now it says to open it on your phone. So it, you can't actually connect straight from the watch, which is kind of a bummer. Like if for some reason you didn't have a network already preset up, and then you can't add one without a phone connected. So that's a little bit frustrating, but um, let me go ahead and open this on my phone and uh, connect it up and show it to you. So here it is opened up here on my Nexus 6. 
And you can see in the background, it's got the Android Wear app open in the background. And then this is where you would just go ahead and you know type in all of your password, and then it would go ahead and connect to that Wi-Fi network. Now, basically what happens is it connects to the Wi-Fi network based on priority and um, you know, if you have Bluetooth, it'll use that. If you're not, if it's not seeing your phone, like my Nexus 6 right here, then it's going to go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. All right, let's go ahead and check out this Find My Phone application. This is pretty sweet. So if for some reason you can't find your phone, you can come in here and click Find My Phone. And from there, see, About to Ring Phone. Even if your phone's on vibrate like mine actually is, you can see it's ringing the phone. It turns vibrate off and uses the speaker so that you can find it. Let's go ahead and stop it. So that's really awesome. I, I think that feature is amazing. It makes just too much sense and even works over Wi-Fi. So uh, just absolutely love it. It doesn't have to be within Bluetooth range for this to function. So that's going to be the new features here on the Moto 360 smartwatch, uh, new Android operating system 5.1.1. I'm really loving it. I think this just makes so much sense and I'm super excited to see what comes out with Android M on uh, wearables and especially Android, uh, Android Wear. So stay tuned for those videos. I'm sure I'll cover more stuff on them and it's automatically talking me. Oh, got to love it. Get out of that. Ah, there we go. Stay tuned for those videos. Check me out at RootChunky.com. Uh, subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.